<laughs> okay, let me show you uh, why the map is cool. So, uh, as I said, it doesn't have much scenery. It looks really simple, but it is really, really cool in my opinion. And the reason for that is, is because uh, on a lot of points on this map, you have multiple lines that work. Like all these slight differences, but they all work. And you can basically choose what you want to uh, take a look at and what you want to drive. So first, for example, um, in this point, the way that was intended to be driven was to uh, take like an inside line in this slide, jump out here and land smooth in the downhill. But what you can, for example, also do is going further outside and go for no airtime. Same for this turn. On this turn, you can either opt for a full no slide or for a slide. It's like pretty much equally fast. Same for uh, the exit of this slide. You can either go to the right of it, like be up to have like a smoother uh, slide line and then have a bit of airtime. Or you go for the lower exit, so you have to do a tighter slide, but then you have no airtime. But it's also kind of equally fast. And you also have the same in uh, the dirt turn here, where you can either um, enter at the very outside and then take like an inside line. Or you enter a bit from the middle, go to the outside and take the outside dirt line. It also works. And that is a really cool thing in my opinion. Uh, the thing is, Iridium, I cannot, I cannot open this shit for, for some reason. I don't know why. Did you also change the eliminated players? It should be 8, 16, 16, 64, 64. I mean, wait, I think I can change that in the dashboard. Oh, but because for some reason we cannot open the console. Can I reboot open planet again? Uh, it is it is correct, Iridium. Due to what I see here, it is correct. Okay, let me see if that got updated. Yeah, 8, 16, 16, 64, 64 is the correct one. Alright, it should be working. Like when I open my dashboard, uh, everything is correct. The only thing I saw was that you still have warm up, but we can easily end it, so. I hope it's fine. Wait, what did I just do? Oh my god, what the fuck? I just opened a Spotify overlay. Heh. I have a Spotify overlay. I pressed some- Oh my god, how do I get that away? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it's gone. Okay, I don't know why, but there we go. Alright, two more minutes of a warm-up. Let's maybe spectate some people in case it's possible and not too laggy. Who can we spectate? Just someone. I literally don't care. Tim mid O. Alright. Okay, so we definitely have some teleports, but... Ay ay ay, Monka. It, I hope it's a bit better at least. Oh uh, no, hmm, no, not really. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a bit better. Last time it was more laggy, I think, so... It will get better after like the first four to five rounds. After five rounds, we already have 30 KOs, and so we are at 70 players. So then it should definitely be fine. Alright. But yeah, really cool map in my opinion. I hope you guys uh, that are playing like it as well. And of course, you, I also hope you guys like to watch it. Um, definitely an interesting map. Definitely a map where you can risk a lot. But personally, I like it a lot. So, I hope you guys are happy with my, uh, with my choice. And yeah, we have one more minute. Alright, dollar W, dollar O, back. Good luck, have fun. Alright, I am ready. Let's see uh, how it will go. Gonna be Pogchamp. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see if we see the different lines that I mentioned in the knockout. I'm pretty sure we are gonna. We are gonna see different lines. Very, very short. Sure. Wait, oh. Okay, we have to restart though. Can we restart? Oh my god, we can't restart. We have to restart Iridium. We have to restart. We, we have five seconds finish time or the thing. Yeah, because the settings need to apply. 
The settings still need to apply Iridium. We need to restart, but I can't... Oh, Mega Lul. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. It showed 30 second timeout in chat. Okay, let's see. We're gonna see. <laughs> okay, we already have some KOs. I mean, this is a no KO round. <laughs> Reboot Pi Planet now? Now? Oh, I'm gonna do it. Oh my god, I don't know why, but Pipe Lander is not working properly. Okay, I did disable it, but it didn't work yet. Okay, it should work, I think. Oh, Mega Lure, man. It is 30 seconds. Okay, everything should be working. I also hope the 6 KOs per round are working and stuff. But in theory, uh, we should have had to restart to apply the settings, I thought. So, let's see. I wish you guys good luck. I hope everything is gonna work. And, uh, yeah. Pog jump. Let's see how it goes. No eliminations. We're gonna have the first KO round with six knockouts. Hopefully. <laughs> At least that's planned. Let's see. Six KOs. Okay. Now if the finish timeout works, everything is perfect. And if it's not too laggy. Um, there are, of course, a bit lags. You see the cars are moving kind of robotic. Tick. A, a little bit, tiny little bit. Oh, mega <laughs> Uh, but yeah. Okay, it is a bit laggy. Yeah, it is a bit laggy. It is a bit laggy. A li tiny little bit. Only spec lag? -like? That would be good. Alright. Let's hope it was... Yeah, let's hope it at least fine for the players. <laughs> uh, Alright. Who is out here? We're gonna have... Okay, finish timeout is gonna work. You have enough time to finish. In theory, not the most difficult map to finish, so... Maybe in the first round, we're gonna have more than one... Never mind. Or now we have two people not driving a few, but... Yeah, should be fine. Wait, did it? Oh, I used to roll. Ah, fuck off, man. Doesn't matter. Oh, it seems to be working. Hawk, all right. Everything is working. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, we can focus a bit on the round in case we manage to watch it somewhat nicely. But the lags should also be gone for me at, like, top 64 or top 70. So, yeah. Three, four more rounds with the lags and then it's fine for me as well. But the most important thing is, is that it's drivable for the players. And they said it is... If it's a bit low FPS, okay, but as long as there are no teleports, it should be fine. Alright, uh, I think one of the most interesting contenders here is Massa. Massa is actually playing my German amigo from Team GL. And he's of course a really good driver and I think it was a good day for him to join the cup because this should be a really good map for him. Quite tacky, bit of dirt, but in general should be a really good map for Massa, I think. So, uh, I think we're gonna see him for a long time in this KO. Let's see. Uh, also, let's talk about the times a bit, maybe. For some reason, the local records are not updating, by the way. That's a bit weird. But okay. Uh, well, good time seems to be like 41 points... 41 mid, roughly. Maybe even 41 low. So, uh, yeah. You see, offer time is 41.29, actually. So, just to give you guys an idea of what's like a nice time here. What's a nice round. Alright, another 6 KOs. Molecore, Mix, User, MSG, Smoke and Yields, and Leduni are out. Whew, all right. Let's... See. Amaterasu also playing. Cool, cool, cool. Some of my boys. That is nice to see. Oh my god, Tom is wrong. <laughs> that looked kind of funny. Oh, Mega Lube. Uh, well, we see different lines here, I think. Thomas John was opting for the upper line, while Amaterasu, for example, was going for the lower one. Pretty cool. Will Amaterasu go for the outside dirt line? Not really, but you can definitely get it, and you will have more speed, because you can full speed nose light this last sausage turn, by the way. It's difficult, but you can do it. Alright, 41.5, good time. How is it looking in the back? I see some of my popular viewers here. Sora, Magnus Cube, Chickwit. They all might be out. Will Sora survive? Will the MVP, uh, the VIP survive? No, he is out, Satch. Same for Chickwood. 
an Luko Maluko. <lacht> oh, alright, cool one. I hope you guys will like the map. Alright, also last time, by the way, uh, the winner was Thomas Jean. No, wait. Uh, no, it was Richie, I think, and Thomas Jean got second. So the team from, uh, the, the boys from Team DNF did really well. Also, uh, Marius, Lars got good positions. Elcon also was there and pretty good. And some of those players are playing again. And in case you didn't know yet, by the way, um, the Attics Cup is not only a weekly cup, but also sort of a monthly cup. Because each month we have um, three weekly editions, such as this one. And this is the second one of January now. So next week we're gonna have one more. And then at the end of each month, we're gonna have a monthly edition. And in the monthly edition, only the top 20 of the three, um, of the three uh, weekly editions will get invited. And they will also play in knockout mode. And the top three of that edition will be able to win some pretty nice prizes. This month, for example, we have um, alternate attacks merch to give away worth more than 200 euros. So actually some nice stuff to win here. So it's not only a fun tournament. I mean, ma mainly it is, but it's also, you can also try hard and win something. Amaterasu in the meantime, the winner, absolute gamer, gaming legend Amaterasu, what a god. What a god. Alright, who's getting knocked out? Kritis, Nigel, Kunga Bunga, Mad Mac, Tim Brawler and Stickless. Alright. Yeah, the legs are definitely getting better. And in case we manage to get that custom knockout script by Unscar, where we can disable things like the displayment of the number at the car, which causes apparently quite a few lags, it will be completely fine. So, uh, good to see that the changes helped, because last week it was very, very wonka. I mean, <laughs> you still have some funny teleports here, but they will be gone in the next two or three rounds, mostly, because then we will reach top 64, and that is mainly what the knockout script was made for. So, yeah. Will there be another map testing ses session for next month? Yes. Um, at the ending of each month, I will do a map testing session where I play 20 of the maps that you guys are uh, able to send me. And uh, yeah, out of those maps, I will pick the maps for the um, weekly and for the monthly editions for the next month. So in like, I don't know, two weeks, we will have the one for February. I will announce that all on Discord. That is the plan. But yeah, it's cool to see that it's only the second edition of the cup and the server filled really quickly, so it's nice. We're always gonna have full house here. Nice. Magnus Cube getting knocked out. Rip, that's one of my viewers. Fast Snoop, Ryski, Rasfas as well, as well as uh, HGB something and one other person. Alright, we're gonna have, I think, one... We actually have... Wait, one, two, three, four, five... No, this is the very last round now with six KOs. Afterwards, we're gonna have four KOs till uh, 16 players. Then we're gonna have two KOs till eight players and then only one KO. All right, let's uh, take a look at the front. We have Luckhurst Turbo at front. That is uh, Bokchamp. Luckhurst Turbo also played uh, last week, I think. I don't know if he made it to the top 20. I don't think he did. I think he Pepe got. And you need to get top 20 in order to get points for the monthly ranking. That is like the most important goal. And uh, the repetition, by the way, is 20th place will get one point and first place gets 20 points and then Etc. Amaterasu with a really strong time here. 41.09. That is uh, very, very rapid. Absolute gamer. And the rounds are actually closer here than uh, last week. So the map is uh, apparently a bit easier to play for the players. Which means we will have closer fights. And that's a good thing, I think. Well, let's see. Of course, everybody is allowed to play the tournament, so um, the skill gap is very high here. Like, you have players in here which are Div 1 every single time in Cup of the Day, but you also have people here which are like Div 30 all of the time. You know? So, you cannot compare it with like Cup of the Day and su such, of course. But it's still very fun, of course, because it allows everyone to play. And it also allows amateurs to compete against some of the best players in the world. And I find that really cool. Alright, let's take a look at the top again. Let's follow Monkey, maybe. Monkey, uh, also one of the DNF guys, he also played yes, uh, last week. And I'm pretty sure he got top 20. So uh, if he does it again, he will definitely earn some points. Also, here we see the different lines. Thomas Sean went for the jump as well as Monkey. Monkey also went for the bonk. While Massa went for the inside line. So it is really cool. That's the thing I like the most about the map. Really, really pop jump. Alright, Massa seems to be winning the round, so... Uh, he already knows how the maps work, how the map works. So I think, I'm pretty sure we will see him in the top 20, unless he Pepegas. 
which could happen. It's Massa. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's see. For, oh my god, look how close it was. Between 60th and 61st, Bremkowski in by less than half a tenth while being 10 seconds behind. <laughs> nice. Kinda Omega Lul. <laughs> also, by the way, I, I have to find something out. Is Marius... Alright, put your bets now in the chat. Is Marius going for the safe finish? Yes or no? He's not listening to the stream, so he will do what he always does. Will he go for the... Is he going for the safe finish or not? I'm very, very sure he is. <laughs> the risky finish is 100% consistent. Trust me, it's super easy. But it's Marius. Of course he, go he will go for the safe finish. Because it's all about getting top 20. And he does not... If Marius would go out... By risking the risky finish, he would hate himself for half a century. So he will surely not go for it. Let's see. Some people also say risky. Interesting. <laughs> He's not going for it. <laughs> of course not. Same for Turbo, actually. But Chris, the man with the balls, went for it. Gamer. Also, uh, Thomas John participating again. That's really cool. That is nice to see. Also, by the way, in case you always want to know the current ranking um, for how it looks like who's going to be invited to the monthly edition, um, that one can be found in the Discord as well. I uh, I don't want to tap out now, but maybe I can take a look at my phone. Where is my phone? Okay, I don't know where my phone is. I think my girlfriend stole it to watch Disney+. Plus. Unfortunate. <laughs> Alright. Ah, there you can see it. We have a command for that. Of course we have. The mods carried everything. Oh, Dipper. Dipper with a small choke there, but it should still be fine. We're still in a phase in the knockout where one mistake will not make you go out. Boba Fett maybe? No. She's currently re-watching all of the Marvel movies, like the MCU movies. Without me, which is sad. But our TV is like too old, and on our TV, Disney Plus is not working, which is like really shit. So we always need to do it via my phone. And then use uh, screen mirroring or however it's called. And she cannot do that from her own phone because uh, from iPhone it doesn't really work for some reason. I don't know, really weird. Alright, uh, Hakun out, Jan actually out. Jan also did pretty well in uh, some of the Cup of the Grenadies. Suicide Phoenix and Checkmark. Unlucky, shaky dirt, barely surviving, very shaky indeed. Monka Monka S. Fire TV stick? Yeah, we should maybe buy one of them. Wait, alternate mod check? Do we have uh, fire TV sticks on alternate? Question mark? <laughs> Alright, let's go into the round. Uh, who do we spectate? Let's spe Presso also playing. Presso also played the last week and he also did really well there. So uh, he can also be getting a few more points. Also here, we see the different lines again. People are going for the low slide and other people are going for the slide. And it's kind of equally... Like, I don't know if Tissues actually made that on purpose. But he made the lines in a way that, although they are different, they are very, very equal. I really don't know if that was on purpose, but it's such a cool thing. Like, you have so many options and all are, like, kind of similar. And you can... Sh oh, no! Boah, Presso made that, actually. I thought he would die. But no, uh, but all lines are like kind of, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of similar or kind of equal. So you can just choose what you think is the best for you. Nice. Also, we had a really close fight here, by the way, between Minst and von Leon. And I mean, top 52 round and only six seconds behind. It is quite close, actually. It is quite close. I liked it. I definitely liked it. <clears throat> all right. Um, so... Also, in the meantime, by the way, we won't, we don't really have any legs anymore, so Kuss. it should be fully fine for the players now. It is fully fine to spectate, so that is really cool. Oh no, Tarpur landed on the border. That is uh, not the best decision, not the best thing you can do. And I think I'm gonna do it exactly as last week. That I'm like, uh, in one round I'm gonna focus at the back at who's going out, and in the other round I'm focusing at the top at like who's winning the round. Let's now go into the back. Currently it is Minz. Never mind, it is Radiax so out, but he's fighting with Minz. Actually a really close battle here. Oh, there also was Muriko, but he completely died. Let's see here. Neo Tercial also have really low speed, actually getting overtaken, and Minz has a really bad outside line actually. Will he snipe on it? He's going for the risky finish, and with that he's in. That actually saved him. Good decision by him. 
Hier äh, ist Inbrief dort. But Muriko out, Tim out, Fika weg out and Arcane out as well. Unlucky. In the meantime, Law is winning the round. Together with Xuriol and Amaterasu. Nice. And yo, Mr. Flicko, thanks a lot for the 420 bits. Bokchamp, thank you. Alright, um, hmm. for some, it's kind of sad that the local records are not updating because, uh, yeah, th those are not the actual records. But, uh, there is some issue with Pi Planet, so I guess it has something to do with that. There is nothing I can change there. But let's focus at the top now. Let's see who's the fastest in this round. Is it gonna be. Oh, well, you just saw. Massa went for the no air timeline and he gained so much speed there. Holy shit. Okay, also going for the no slide here. Then, what line is he opting for here? Bottom or top? Oh! Uh Risking a lot for the bottom line, maybe would have been smarter to just go for the lower one. Getting overtaken by Thomas John, but he has a better slide. Massa is the tech player, of course, so he knows how to do the slides here. Is he gonna win the round though? No, I think he isn't. Thomas John with a really sick line, and he is gonna snipe Massa in the finish line. Holy moly, what an ending by Thomas John. Crazy. How is it looking in the back? Oh, TNT Crafter might be out. Never mind, he sniped someone. Hui! Close, 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 close. This time, Ellipsis, Lou, Jordan, and the stick are out. Close, close racing here. Kinda intense. Actually, I have to take a sip. Casting is exhausting. Alright, we have the top 40 round coming up. Let's uh, see. This time, we're gonna focus at the back again, at who's going out. And I think we might have a close round already. Like, it might not take too long until we have a round where you only need to be like four seconds behind and you might be in real danger. For example, Pantoffel. He is now roughly four seconds behind and he will be in real danger. We also have a DNF, sadly. But let's see if Pantoffels can maybe do the recovery. He, he has some people in front of him. He is fighting with Cup soon. Also, Neo Tertio, not with the best line. He did already overtake uh, Clara Vicom. Aye, 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 close, close, close. We have a close fight here, actually, for the last orange spot. Currently, it is held by Pantoffels, but look at how close the fight is. It's gonna depend on the last turn. Pantoffel going very far inside. Will they go for the risky line? Kapsun is saving it, and Kapsun actually... Oh, no, I think Kelfa failed to finish. Oh, no. I think Kelfa failed to finish. Anluko. And with that, Kapsun is barely in. He was... Oh, my God, he was only 12,000 ahead of the other guy. Ahead of Neo Tertial. Oh, mega lo. Oh, and tapped out. Whee! Close rounds here. It is of course not the most difficult map. It's easier than last week's, but still. That's more close than I had expected, to be honest. <coughs> crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Ah, no, Amma! Oh my god, so many people doing the same mistake. Nixobi also did it, and one more person. I think Minst? No, Bresso! Oh, no, 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 no. That was a very, very punishing mistake by Bresso. I think he will be out with that. And Presso, as I said earlier, he was top 20 last week, so... Oi, 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 oi. That will be very, very close. I don't think he will make that. Look how close it is. We currently have a fight between Nice and Parcival. Oh no, shaky dirt. Okay, Nice should be in with the risky finish. Easily, actually. Chris! And with that, the first OK boy is out. Chris has successfully failed to finish. Unlucky. Presso almost out, uh, barely out, actually only by half a second, so Minst kinda lucky that he survived with that. Oh, unlucky. Mm. Ah. Anluko Chris. We are slowly but surely reaching the phase where uh, you guys will get points towards the leaderboard. Only three more rounds and then we will be in there. So that is uh, pretty cool, I would say. Wow, oh, Massa. Monka. Alright, let's focus at the top again. Who do we have here? Amaterasu with a good start. Also, here's some different lines. Ama is going for the full jumps. When going for the outside line, Masa for the inside line. Super interesting. Oh, small leg here. But we have a cool fight here for first place. Masa with so much exit speed out of the first slide. Holy moly. But not having the best third line, actually. Ama got it way better. Sven also going for a different line here. Ama? Oh, Ama with the small... <laughs> <laughs> with the safety slide, and what a close fight that was between the top three. Insane. And look how close it was for the back as well. Holy moly. Four seconds on orange, plus four seconds. Close. Very, very close. Minst is now out. Harry, Radiaxo, and Parsable. Monka, Monka. 
Of course, the further we progress into the knockout, the better uh, the times are going to be. And also, the more better players are going to be alive. So at this point, you don't have any, like, amateurs left anymore. They all know how to drive. So, uh, hui hui hui. Wonka. Let's uh, see. At, like, the top 20, maybe, we can take a look at who's in, like, overall, to give you guys an overview of who the players are. And if there are maybe some players which already came became top 20 last week. Because that is the most important thing. Alright, uh, let's take a look at... Who do we take a look at? Uh, Monkey. Monkey definitely was top 20 last week. Oh, that was really close. That was very, very risky. Holy moly. Very scary. Very, very scary. But he survived and he is currently third place. Thomas Jean with a lot of speed with that outside line. Crazy. Oh, Thomas Jean with the bonk. And look, look how close it is. 1.8 seconds behind on orange. Holy shit. Ama Terasu? Oh, Ama. I think he will snipe one, though. Yeah, yeah. Ama is safe. Ama is safe. Mm. Wow, he almost missed the finish. <laughs> and look how close it was. Two twenty thousandths of a second between orange and red. The fights are insane, man. Holy shit. Uh, Reclipse is sadly out. Unlucky. Nalax also out. As well as Hygabis and Kapsun. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Even the risky finish has a safe strat and the risky strat. Yeah, actually true. Actually true, yeah. Woo! Exhausting, man. We have two more rounds, by the way, with four KOs until we hop into the... Oh, somebody fully crashed there. Until we... Uh, before we hop into the 2KO phase. So, uh, let's see. Usually, the very last um, 4KO round is always kind of difficult because usually you have 20 players there and four of them are gonna, gonna get knocked out, which are, equals 20% of the players and that's quite a lot for one round. And who do I see in the back here? It is Monkey. And Monkey was one of the favorites, actually. He was top 20 last time. And he will not get top 20 here. Going out in the round before. Oof. Alright. On. Alright. So, no, top 20, which means all the people will now get points towards the monthly leaderboard. And with that, they will have a chance at getting invited to the uh, to the monthly final. Uh, point repetition, I'm going to say it again. 20th place will get 1 point, 1st place will get 20 points, etc. So if you want to know somebody's points, just take his finish position and uh, yeah, just calculate 21 minus the finish position, basically. That's how you get the points. Yeah, I had... Yeah, from now on, not from now on. Oh my god, somebody is really far behind. Gamer Damgen. He is going to be out, but he will get one point at least. Which is good. And also, who do I see in the back here? It is actually Lars. And also Marius, not too far away. Skytru is the only one who can keep up. Will Skytru be able to snipe one? Maybe somebody who's going for the safe finish? Oh, he's getting it and Lacker's turbo. Two people failing to finish. Amaterasu is in. How is Amaterasu in Ender also failed to finish? Master with a sub 41. What is this round? Absolute fiesta in the top, in the last 4KO round. So many finish fails. A new world record. Holy shit. Oh, Mega Lul, man. Lacris Turbo out, the second okay boy. Barely saving Amaterasu. Ender out as well. Ender also a really good player. So, oof. Good old ping and Gamer Damgem out as well, of course, with their mistakes. Wow. Close. Close, close, close. Oi, 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 oi. Oh god, am I going for a risky jump? Lightly landing on the border, that can easily give you a slowdown, so... Wouldn't recommend that in one of the later rounds. Wow, oh, risky line by Masa here, but he's getting it really well. Let's take a look at the back. I saw Lars there, but I also saw Pantoffels. Okay, Pantoffels will be getting 5 points, I'm very sure about that. <laughs> oh my god, somebody... F oh my god, I just went onto someone and he fully eat it away. Who was that? It was Tarpur. And with that, Tarpur will very likely be out. He will very likely be out. Kind of the safe round for the others. They just need to... They can just go for the safe finish. Nothing can happen anymore. So if somebody chokes now, he really didn't deserve to be in. Okay, they all made it. <laughs> Tarpur and Pantoffels out. Pantoffels, one of my mods. He did really well though. Top 16. That's, I think, pretty good for you, Pantoffels. Gamer. Proud of you, man. <laughs> what saying? Mach mir keinen Druck, man. <laughs> Basically, don't pressure me. I don't know if he said that to me. Probably not, actually. Well, 
Let's take a look at who's still in. We have Massa, Xuriol, Amaterasu, Marius, Javel, Justin, Lois, Nixobi, Sensei, TNT, Crafted, Thomas Jorn, Vod, Skytru, and Seven. Oi, oi, oi. Some very good players left, of course. Alright. Let's see. I think from now on we might have a round or two where one second behind first and you will be out. I wouldn't be that surprised. Oh no, bot failed. Ay, ay, ay. That's gonna be hard to recover. Sven also with a bit of a mistake. But he might still have a chance. Oh, he actually does have a chance because he's overtaking his countryman, Skydrew. And now Skydrew has to fight for his life. Also, Vot is not too far away, though. But Skydrew... Oh, Ama, really low speed. Same for Xurio. But they both should be able to make it. Jabal going for the save finish. But the points, uh, the positions are set in stone. Skydrew out and Vot out. But they will both get points towards the leaderboard, which is the most important thing. Woo! Close. Close, close, close. Crazy, crazy stuff. <laughs> Alright. We also still have quite a few Germans, actually. Holy moly, that's cool. Oh, no. I think Sven got a slowdown in his start, but he's only 0.4 behind. With a nice rest of the run, he should be safe. Having a bit of airtime here. Not the best line. Marius also really slow. And this is like the point where knockouts are getting difficult for Marius. Because it's not only about saving anymore. You Oh my god, TNT crafter. You also need a certain amount of speed in order to survive. And it looks like Marius is lacking that bit of speed at the moment. He overtook TNT crafter who will most likely be out. But will Marius be able to overtake one? I kinda doubt it. It's only the last turn and Marius will probably be out. No way! <laughs> <laughs> Marius actually survived. <laughs> oh my god. He survived because Jabel failed to save at the risky finish. He was like he was like 50-50 grinding like Tony Hawk on the border. Oh no man. Oh I saw it. Oh no. Massa also really close to getting knocked out here. And this just shows it. Marius and Massa almost getting knocked out means good round. They didn't they didn't even do a mistake. They just had not the best lines there. Tight, 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 tight. <laughs> yeah, Mario's asking why should nobody fail now, but like, come on, it's top 10, and the risky finish is not that hard. <laughs> so, I think we can all agree on that Mario's was a bit lucky there, at least a bit. Also, uh, we still have three of the boys actually in. Amaterasu, Mario's, and Lars are all still in. Let's see for how long. <laughs> Oh no, okay, this time Sven will be dead, it will be another mistake from him, and he will be out. But he will go home with 11 points. And that is uh, pretty good, I would say. That is pretty good. 11 points? Yeah, wait. Yeah, 11. Whew! In the meantime, we have a great fight between Justin and, Amatar uh, Justin and uh, Amaterasu, yeah. <gasps> no way! Wait! Huh? <gasps> No way! Thomas Sean failed! What did Thomas Sean do? Oh no, what happened? And now Amma is luck, luck. Oh, what? Dude, what even happened? <laughs> also, I love how his teammate Monkey says, like, bah ha 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 what a noob. <laughs> but previous rounds, Marius was lucky, now Amaterasu is lucky. Is this cup scripted for the OK Boys? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> wow, alright. Also, Xurio is still in. The last remaining VIP on my channel that is participating. And he is a good player, so uh, I think he can still survive further rounds. But he is, of course, also not allowed to do mistakes. Now we have, once again, Marius in the back. But look, this time the times are really close. Marius, with good speed into the dirt, is in the right gear. But holy shit, this will be really close. It will be all about the ending. Nixobi not going for the outside line. I don't know why. Will everybody make the finish? Yes. And Nixobi will be out because of his line. Still, 8th place. Good position from him. 13 points towards the leaderboard. Really good job. And Marius once again on orange. Monka. Also, this was the very first round with uh, 1KO, by the way. So, uh... Close. <clears throat> Wait, what did I say, Rufa? I meant to say he wasn't going for the inside line. You all know what I mean. When I'm rapidly casting, double time cast, then I'm occasionally doing some mistakes. Also, I see why Mario is a bit slower. He's going for the full airtime. It doesn't lose that much, but at this level in the knockout, at that point, it's losing quite a bit. <laughs> and who do I see here in the back? Is it the one and only Massa? 
Okay, Massa, he will risk for his life now. Maska is like one of the best risky players in the world. Will he... Unfortunate. Massa will be out here. <gasps> Justin? Oh my god, Massa would have actually had it. <gasps> Justin! <laughs> Justin! He had to release and he clipped the border. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, Massa, 7th place in his very first participation. Still good position, getting 40 po 14 points towards the leaderboard. And yeah, if he also plays next week, and I think to be honest, 14 points should be safe, I think, for the uh, for getting into the monthly final. So good job by Massa already. Oh my god, did we have a crash? We have a crash by Mr. Xuriel, the very last VIP alive. Will somebody choke for him? Will somebody choke for him? That is the question. Let's uh, spectate it from the perspective of the orange player, which is, which was Lois, now it's Marius. But they're all really close to each other and they all know, they're all experienced drivers, they know that they just have to save now in order to survive. They, they, they know, they don't have to risk anything. But will still somebody choke to finish? You never know. <laughs> ah, Lars making it, Marius going for the safe finish, of course. And with that, Xuriel will be out. And with that, we have three out of five OK boys in the top five. Great. Also, 4 out of 5 Germans, only Justin from Poland is in there, fighting against the Germans. Alright. 4 more rounds. Let's see how it goes. Make your predictions now. Who is going to win the edition? We will have a new winner, that's already set in stone. But who will it be? Who has the best personal best? Ama09, Justin44, four four, Sensei13, Lois24, Marius.80. <laughs> Classical Marius. And I think this might be the round now where Marius is just not fast enough anymore. This will be really hard to discover. He had a bad start. He is 0.4 behind. 0.5 even. He will need a miracle and a half not to survive. Will maybe somebody touch the dirt? I doubt it. I doubt it. Somebody has to fail the finish now for Marius. Otherwise he will be out. But he's even going for the safe finish. Smart move. Because in case somebody fails the risky finish he would still be fast enough. But it's not enough. And look what a race we had. First and fourth place, only 60,000 apart from each other. That's crazy. That is hella crazy. Requirements for the OK Boys tech uh, to be OK Boy. Alright, Lois, Ama, Sensei, Justin. Who is. <laughs> That's unfortunate, man. <laughs> Imagine cacking about the players that participate in your cup and fail. <laughs> I mean, unlucky. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. <laughs> unlucky. Save round for the others, pretty much. They know they have to save. Will they still go for the risky finish? I think they will. <gasps> Amma! Dude, Amma, what the shit? What? No way, Lars! No! Lars, why? <laughs> oh no, Lars! <laughs> he just says, I don't know why, to be honest. Oh, mega lul. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. Lars out and Amaterasu, apparently the last okay bar remaining. Playing against Justin and Sensei now. Whee! Everybody going for the no airline. Uh, airline airline time I was oh dude I cannot speak anymore except for sensei and sensei lost a uh, kind of big amount of time actually he lost point two. Oh no Ama the tech player failing the slide that is very unfortunate and he is giga slow because it was in free wheel and this will most likely be the end for the okay boy Amaterasu the third time in a row for an okay boy to get knocked out and it will most likely be sensei versus um versus Justin Good luck. Alright, Sensei versus Justin. Germany versus Poland. Let's see. Who's gonna make it? Prediction now in the chat. Sensei versus... Versus Justin. Let's see. <clears throat> Who has the better PB though? Justin, 43. Not too good. Sensei, 13. Way better. But uh, a 43 could easily be enough to win the round. 
One player chokes and the 43 is definitely enough. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Justin! <laughs> yeah, that's not the most exciting final here, I gotta be honest. Justin got caught by the pressure. He knew that 543 people are watching him. And now he knows that 433 people watched his mistake. That hurts. But yeah, he will win the... Uh, Sensei will win the second edition of the... Grenady... Uh, no, of the alternate attack circuit. Unless he fails to finish, which would be... Um, he clipped the border though. <laughs> All right, GG. Thanks for playing. Woo. All right. Quickly gonna ask um, for the how the legs were. What says had none? Way better. No legs for me. No legs. All right. Perfect. Seems like people did not have legs, actually. That is nice. That is cool to see. So I only had legs and spectate, but uh, otherwise it was fine. <laughs>